Hi, this is Jackie and I work for Avon. This is a short tutorial on how to start an Avon order and see your e-brochures. If you're submitting your very first Avon order, remember you get a welcome kit in your very first order delivery and Avon does supply you with two batches of books at the beginning. So 10 for the next campaign and 10 for the one after that. And then it is something you have to purchase. So log into your avon.ca Canadian website. And uh, when you do, you see this, it just uh, tells you that the campaign, uh, current campaign special is there. We've got some skincare, two for $40, and that's always a customer price. I'll X out of there. As a representative, you do get your beauty discount on skincare. So I'm gonna go to order and create an order. It tells you what campaign we're in. Uh, you click on continue and uh, you can uh, name the order if you like or name the line and to shop well there are many ways by hovering your mouse over the word products or I like to just simply go to eBrochure here on the left and the eBrochure will show you all the rep the brochure and flyers available to the representatives and the customers and the ones by um, viewable by the representative only they're called the what's new and they are designed to help the representative prepare for her next two campaigns of selling. So you can order yourself in advance products that will be example in campaign 26 and your last chance to order products out of campaign 25. Now some current sales on samples are available for you to purchase in your what's new number 26 along with some branded logo items. We call that a business boutique items. And uh, also in the campaign 26, there's a checklist if you want to order yourself some extra flyers or brochures. So you might want to take a look in the what's new and uh, read the demo policy page towards the end. It does tell you that when you order a demo product, uh, example, a watch or a dress, you can only order one and you're not taxed on it. So this watch happens to be something that will be featured in on the cover of your campaign 26 book and for the customer she's going to have a special price for it so you may want to be wearing it when you're presenting or when you're visiting your customers so buy it for yourself at 26.99 net there's no tax on it and read the demo policy page as i said there's a stock up offer on our fragrance prima and this is a fragrance you'll be selling in campaign 26 so you can order yourself um, at a great uh, price, um, maybe a bottle of Prima with the, uh, the free gifts that a customer receives when she buys the perfume. Here's a stock up offer where when you uh, buy it and resell it at regular brochure price, your profit will be 50%. Same for skincare, you have a great special on bubble bath. If you're to order 10 or more, your cost will be $3.99 less your representative discount. So it might be time for you to stock up. And the way you would order this exactly would be to click on the product number. A, quant um, a description and a picture will pop up. You can actually, I believe, share uh, the photo. See more product details. By clicking on read more, it'll even offer the ingredients. So you can enter your quantity, it could be five of these and five of another color and add to your order. What I'll go do, what I'll do is I will go back to my shop e-brochure and I'll go into my current brochure here. Wait for it to pop up on my screen. I'd like to share this with my friends. I'll find the share icon, which is three dots. On your iPad, you'll see this share icon when you um, find your menu. A menu is usually some horizontal bars, and when you click onto that, it'll show you a share icon. So by clicking on that, I can share my brochure on different places like Facebook, Pinterest. And uh, don't forget to write a message telling your friends that you're selling Avon and they can order through you. So I'll get out there and I will order myself some candles. They're on special for the customer at 10.99. So let's order one of these. 
add to my order. I can continue shopping. This is what we call an order builder. So for the customer, it's $24.99 with every $15 brochure purchase. Here's a beautiful uh, selection of Christmas uh, gifts. Let's go to makeup. Love the gel finish nail polish, any three for $11.99. So what I'm gonna do is select three codes, and this is a good exercise. So they're priced at $9 each, but if your customer buys three, the price will be reduced. Don't forget when you're selling nail enamel, ask her if she thought of buying the top coat. So I'll put one of those on my order. Okay, so I'm finished shopping. I'll check my cart here on the top right, it says I have four items, so let's go and take a look. You're gonna notice three steps in an ordering process. Step one is your cart. So make sure you haven't forgotten anything. If you have to add more products, it's on the pink line here. If you have to delete a product, click on the product itself and you'll notice that delete selected will appear. But I don't presently wanna delete anything. So as you see here, we have a four items, so everything looks good. It's asking me if I wanna order more brochures. So if you're thinking of serving more people or prospecting for more customers, go ahead and uh, order yourself some extra books. I always recommend ordering a pack of 10 because they're uh, cheaper that way. So you'll notice one pack of 10 is 365. I'm just gonna order three packs of 10 to show you something and I'll add to my order. Okay, so I'm finished with that. I'll check my card again. So I've got my candle, three nail polishes, and three packs of brochures. So as you see, my, for the purpose of this exercise, I wanna show you that the nail enamel is priced $9 each. The brochure is $10.65 per pack, and I've ordered three packs. I'm gonna go on to step two, continue. It's asking me if I wanna order any more brochures, make sure you're ordering packs of 10 and in your language, preferred language. I'll continue without adding. So it's updating my offers. It's asking me if I wanna purchase more things, not current, not right now, so I'm gonna update my offers and continue. It's asking how many customers I've served. If it's only for myself, I'll write one. In part three, this is where you're going to notice your prices, your customer price is the unit price. So take this down, uh, start yourself a customer book, write down that Jane ordered three nail enamels and you're gonna charge her $3.99 because as you see, the gel finished nail enamel top coat any three for $11.99. So she's being charged $3.99 each. And that's for you to charge her so you'll know what to collect. And your brochures, the more you buy, the less they are. So the, instead of paying $10.65 per package, look at this, you're paying $5.65 per package. So it's definitely worth it, instead of buying one pack of brochures for $10.65, to buy three, and in all you're paying $16.95. And that gives you 30 books. And with 30 books, you're likely to pick up another at least 10 or 12 customers by handing those out. And so, as I said, the unit price is your customer price. As a representative, you do get a discount. So your discount becomes your profit. You have a total cost. Okay, so you're, you're, you're taxed on an order here. This is your tax. And what you'll do is submit. You'll submit your order. And it's as easy as that. You can always go back in your order and edit your order. So for the purpose of this exercise, uh, what I'm gonna do is delete the entire order. I can go back in and delete it. So as you can see, you can go ahead and play with your system, but uh, make sure you submit by uh, your deadline and it's going to be here. So everybody's different. Uh, a campaign lasts two weeks. So when you select your delivery day, it automatically gives you a submit your order by day. Up here, it just tells me nationally across Canada, there's 24 hours left. 
uh, a campaign does last two weeks, but by selecting your own delivery day, you're going to get a submit your order by day. And that's all I wanted to show you. Hope this helps.